Hi all, my name is Aston Samuel Alexander from class 10B. Today, we are going to view the blood smear under the microscope. The human circulatory system consists of three parts, blood, blood vessel and heart. In humans, the blood flows inside the blood vessel, so it is called a closed type of circulatory system. The two functions of blood are transportation and protection. The two components of blood are plasma and formed elements. Plasma is the fluid portion of blood. 90 to 92 percent of plasma is water. There are three types of formed elements RBC, WBC, and platelets. RBC erythrocytes or the red blood cell is biconcave disc like structure. It lacks nucleus to increase the total surface area, thereby, there will be more transportation of oxygen. RBCs lack mitochondria so that it cannot utilize O2 for itself, thus the transportation of O2 will increase. RBCs lack endoplasmic reticulum which increases the flexibility of the RBCs to, trans to travel through the capillaries. Now let us see about WBCs or white blood cells or leukocytes. They are irregularly shaped and they produce pseudopodia which helps in diapedesis. The main two functions of WBC is phagocytosis and production of antibodies. Based on the structure and shape of WBCs, they are classified into two, granular WBC and agranular WBC. There are three types of granular WBC, neutrophil, basophil and eosinophil. There are two types of agranular WBC or non-granular WBCs, lymphocytes and monocytes. Third one is platelets or thrombocytes. It helps in blood clotting. Now let us see how a blood smear is prepared. Prepare a film of blood on a microscopic slide and allow to air dry. This is the first step to be done while preparing the blood smear. Step 2. Place an other microscopic slide on top of the slide which contains the blood and spread the drop of blood evenly throughout the slide. Step 3. Add a few drops of right stain onto the slide which contains the blood smear. Step 4. Tilt this microscopic slide slightly so that the excess right stain can be removed easily. Place the slide to dry for 2-3 to three minutes. Add a few drops of distilled water to dilute the stain. Place the slide under the microscope and view it. First, we are viewing it in low power. Now, let us change it to high power. The following video shows you the blood smear under the microscope. The pinkish oval shaped structures are red blood cells or erythrocytes. The dark colored cells are WBCs.
I would like to thank my biology teacher Shiny Mum, my class teacher Geeta Mum, and all teachers of the science club for giving me this opportunity and their immense support. I would also like to thank Rashmi Mum for helping me to capture this video. Thank you.